Welcome to another episode of Crafting with Roswell. Today I'm going to be showing you how simple it is to make a butterbeer lip scrub. Your kit includes a butterscotch flavor and vanilla extract already mixed in a little one ounce container for you. So this is a butterscotch flavor like you would use for candy making and then just your standard vanilla extract. Next up is a quarter cup of granulated white sugar and two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of coconut oil. Um, our coconut oil is in a solid form. You will also need a mixing bowl and a spoon. I recommend having paper towels handy in case your fingers start feeling a little greasy from the coconut oil. And a storage container to store this when you're done, but that's another reason why I chose this container to package the coconut oil in. This will easily fit your sugar scrub when you're done. So while this says it's a lip scrub, this could easily be used on your hands, elbows, knees, feet as well. Um, it just has a really great scent, so I like using things that smell good um, near my nose, so on my lips, it's perfect because um, it's really appealing. So first we're gonna start with um, pulling out our coconut oil. Now, in the suggested extras I list using a microwave, I personally prefer not melting the coconut oil. So I just like to use my spoon and kind of play with it, get it um, a little more malleable and just use it when it's still in a solid form. I find the consistency of the lip scrub um, completely changes when this is melted. Um, so that's really a personal preference. I just prefer using this still solid and mixing it in and kind of the heat from playing with the coconut oil and mixing things in to make it a little more pliable, but not so far as like melted into a liquid. That's completely up to you. I wouldn't do more than like 10 second increments in your microwave to get a feel for how quickly that melts. So here's my coconut oil. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my butterscotch and vanilla extract. I'm trying to shake as much out of that container. If you smell the container directly, you're gonna notice it has kind of an alcohol scent, just the way these two flavors are created. But I promise your finished result does not have that alcohol smell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix in those flavorings. I'm just trying to keep it gathered in my bowl. If you have a smaller bowl, this isn't very big, um, a little bigger than I need it to be. So I'm just trying to keep everything together and then I can pull it all together again once I add in my sugar. So that's pretty well mixed. And then I'm just gonna dump the entire contents of the bag. If you wanna go slower and add a little bit in and see how it's doing, you can. If you find it's a little too um, greasy, you want a little thicker texture, you can always just go to your cabinet and add some more regular sugar. But we're just going for this nice, chunky texture mixing in our sugar. It almost feels like the consistency of like a cookie dough right now. And it smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this last bit of sugar in and give that a stir. 
While these ingredients sit in your container in between uses, you could find that the ingredients separate. Just give them a stir. If you store this in a warm place in your home with the melting point of the coconut oil uh, being about 75 degrees, if you have a very warm spot or if this is in the sun, you can find that your coconut oil starts to liquefy. When it cools down, it will harden back up again. So now that that is nice and stirred, it's going to go ahead and use this container to store it in. And just to show you right now, it looks pretty solid. It might look a little dried out, but I promise there's a whole lot of oil hiding in that scrub. So again, you can use this on your hands, you can use this on your lips, you can use this on your body. Just a reminder that if you are doing this in a shower, please clean the shower thoroughly after to avoid any slips and falls and accidents. And that is a basic lip scrub that has the smell of a butter beer. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments, reach out to me at the library, and we'll be back next week for a paper heart rose wreath and more fun. Till then, have a great day, everyone.